Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, I hope everybody's okay. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's a red and white subscription button. Also click the notification bell. I upload five times a week on both channels. So, and um, all you, so for more perks, and you can click uh, the join button where you can join my memberships from just 99 pence per month. It's the blue and white button uh, for extra perks. And uh, now the weather in the UK um, today is uh, hot, oh, well, very warm today, quite hot at 21 um, Celsius. So it, that's really good. Um, and it looks lovely outside. Um, now, uh, today I'm going to be doing a travel vlog on Travel News UK at five exciting facts June 2001, part five. So let's jump right into it see what we've got and uh, number one the independent um, paper or .co.uk green list shambles causing untold damage to UK tourism says Ryanair um, the present British travellers have two feasible quarantine free destinations in Europe which is Gibraltar and Iceland um, again it is very unfortunate uh, but again with all these different variants about um, like the Delta variant then there's not a lot that you uh, really that we can do apart from follow the government's UK government's rules um, which are there to protect us all. Number two, um, Travel Weekly, EasyJet is a moving completely out of the UK, budget carrier EasyJet is uh, shifting holiday um, flights from the UK uh, to elsewhere in Europe because of the British government restrictive COVID-19 travel and um, I can re again understand EasyJet and um, and obviously elsewhere in Europe if they're allowing EasyJet more freedom um, then obviously uh, they need to do what's uh, best for the company and um, hopefully Easy. Jack can return in the future at fingers crossed um maybe next year and at number three more countries restrict travel from the uk over the delta variant fears ireland uh, to a uh, double to 10 days it's quarantine period for the uk travelers who are are not vaccinated um at number four, the independent uh, newspaper International Travel Unlocks as Morocco, Mauritius, Phuket announced borders will open in June and July while the UK continues to prohibit travel restrictions um, to various countries outside of Europe um, have announced they will reopen their borders at uh, these countries Morocco, Mauritius and Phuket um, the islands um, as part of Thailand so that's really good news uh, for both those uh, three countries and Ireland and again um, best to look to those countries um, last but not least the Telegraph Australia to keep uh, borders closed to Britons for the foreseeable future Australia 
um, looks to set to keep its borders close to British visitors for the foreseeable future. Um, that's according to the Telegraph. A graph. Um, the country's prime minister has suggested. Again, um, if you are looking to go on holiday, I again would strongly advise you um, to uh, again tra uh, travel in this country in the UK. And uh, in my opinion, it is again just a safer option. Um, any countries that are on the green list can like Portugal quickly move to amber or red so um, again unless it's I would say absolutely necessary um, then again I don't think it's worth having to quarantine and having to get all the tests done um, I would uh, that is my personal advice uh, anyway I would like everybody to have um, as good day as possible and um, again I'll see you tomorrow with um, five exciting brand new European facts and um, I hope everybody has a nice day and night and I wish everybody well and I'll see you tomorrow at half past six. Thank you. Bye for now.